Hi everyone, welcome back to part two. This is, Is Jesus the Only Way? Today, February 2nd, 2021. Tuesday. So, we're going to go right to scripture. Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 through 11. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven and those on earth and those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Listen, we could willingly bow our knee to him here on earth now, or you could bow to him later, because no matter who you are, Every knee is going to bow, Amen. and every tongue is going to conf confess that Jesus is Lord, no matter Amen. who you are. And I'm glad we're doing it now willingly. And Amen. the Father delights in that. Yes, he does. He takes pleasure in that. Yes, he does. This was just a quick, quick stuff that went right to my spirit, like I said before. You know, Jean is so amazing. I mean, the way she receives things, I mean, she receives things audibly. She has, gets visions, open visions. She has prophetic dreams. And my main way that well, I receive. That isn't any, I mean, it isn't any more amazing than the way you get things. No, I didn't say it was more amazing. I'm just saying how you get things, babe. I'm well, really amazing. You are I, really amazing. I get stuff. <laughs> the way I receive, like we tell people every week. Get yourself a Bible. Start getting in the Word. It's so important to have a Bible and start reading it for yourself. It's wonderful to listen to other people. Gene and I constantly listen to other sermons. Papa Doug gave us a great compliment because what he said about us is that, you know, we're, we're very teachable and the good, what, what he likes a lot of things about us and we love him so much. We've learned so much and we continue to learn. He said the, the good thing, the thing that he likes about us is that we're willing to listen to different teachers and speakers and just be open to receive from other people. Because there's some people that just get stuck on only listening to one person. And Gina, my beautiful wife, taught me this. Not, you know, one person does not have the full revelation of who Jesus is. So each person, right. each person has you know, a has a different like calling and a different gifting to yeah. teach you about they the do. Lord. So it's important to hear different they people. Do. So this was just a quick, uh, Gina and myself and Papa Doug, we, we love the One Step Program. Just, you know, receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Uh, be obedient. Listen to what he tells you to do. Do it and things will work out great for you. But for some reason, Holy Spirit gave me uh, six steps. I'm going to read these now. I took the time to type this out. Uh, we're not going to post this on the teaching because what Gene and I have learned is that when you are taught something, when you take the time to write it down yourself, and you might have to keep rewinding it a little bit of time, then it's received more and you understand more when you're hearing something and you're listening and you're writing the things down for yourself. That's something we can't do for you. These are really good too. I mean, this, Thank was, you. this was an awesome day. I mean, it, it, it's this Holy really Spirit. Good. Because this a lot of really people good. like want to know, well, what do I do? Like if I do become a believer, where do I go from there? So I really haven't heard too many teachings on that. Right. This is good. So we're going to have six steps. <laughs> Rick, <laughs> six steps. You know what I love about this guy, Rick? He writes down every, he, he writes things down when we don't ask him to write it down. His hunger is amazing. He's awesome. If he was the only one watching this it would be worth we doing would the still teaching. be doing this we would still be studying <laughs> and teaching for rick only we would 
And hi, Rick. <laughs> hi, Rick. And, and we love you, Mom. Mom always has a wonderful thing to write us. Hi, hi Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> and, and hi, Roxanne. We love you and respect you so much. And you hi, get... Rox. You get an, you get an award also because you actually called last week because you wanted to know a little bit of uh, more information about Job. So you were listening to the teaching. We love that. We love questions. If anyone has a yeah. question, you know, write it write it down, write it on the on the page. We'll be more than happy to answer it. And if we don't know the answer, we'll call Papa Doug up or we'll call Pastor Dave and Pastor Tracy. And they'll give us the answer for it. Step one. Receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior today. Ask the Holy Spirit to fill you today. Don't wait another minute. Like we said in the last teaching, tomorrow's never promised. Should I read them twice or is once enough for once, people to once get is it? Once enough. We're on a time. Okay. You know, to Step two. Start reading the Bible and ask the Holy Spirit to give you understanding. Always obey what the Word tells you to do. If you miss it, run to the Father. Ask for forgiveness and keep moving forward. Don't live in the past and stay in the moment. Dream big. God loves to fulfill your dreams and desires that line up with His Word. Always have a reverence for God. Amen. Step three. Get plugged into a good Bible-based church that believes and teaches in healing, deliverance, prophecy, and words of knowledge, and understands and teaches on the love of the Father. Thankfully, we go to Redemption House Life Center, and they do all of those things. They do. If, you, if you're watching Pastor Dave and Pastor Tracy, we love you guys and we honor you, respect you, we look up to you, we just glean from mm -hmm. you, and we love the entire church. I mean, you guys are our family, yes. and we appreciate you all so much. Yes, we do. Step four, have a continual relationship with the Lord. Step five. Stay on fire for God and give it away to others. That is how you stay on fire. The fire never has to burn out. It actually grows stronger and bigger. Do only what the Lord tells you to do. Nothing more, nothing less, and nothing else. Step six. Always remain humble and teachable. Have a person that you can talk to about anything. Your pastor, a spiritual father or mother, a trusted friend. Always keep everything in the light. We mean everything. The devil cannot function in the light. He loves the darkness. He loves secrets. He loves unconfessed sin. He loves sin or bad habits that you just can't seem to break. Lies, gossip pass hurts, etc. I mean, that, that that's so powerful. It's really good. And, you know, we learned that. Awesome. Uh, the, the one, uh, do, do only, let's see, when I said, uh, do only what the Lord tells you to do. Nothing more, nothing less, and nothing else. We want to give credit to our Dr. Rodney Howard Brown yeah, for that yeah, one. Yeah. And, and the one about keeping everything in the light, I want to give credit where credit is due uh we give credit to papa doug on that one he told us that a long time ago about staying in the light mm -hmm. because the devil just he's he loves just to have things in darkness and once whatever it is when you bring that into the light the darkness flees yes. when it is dark in a room and you walk in the room and you flick the switch on, immediately the light comes in and darkness flees. That's right. I think it's all yours, babe. Well, you were going to do a Benny Hinn story, but I can you do it quickly or? I, quick Benny Hinn story. Yes. Uh, yeah, we're at, that's, yeah. Benny Hinn story we heard about a month ago. 
I just told my sister that uh, recently. Children are awesome because they just ask the most wonderful questions and it just the innocence of a child. That's what we're supposed to have is just the innocence of a child. If, if Christians would do that more often and stop trying to get so much head knowledge, we would actually have a much better walk with the Lord, having just childlike faith. So Benny Hinn's children asked him, well, well you know, Dad, why, why is Jesus... The only way. I mean, what a great question to ask somebody. And his answer was brilliant. I mean, that is revelation from the Holy Spirit. He told his kids, Jesus is the only way because he's the only man that died for our sins and was buried and was resurrected. We have a resurrected Savior that is alive and he's seated at the right hand of the Father. See, Buddha is dead. Mohammed is dead. Hindus that believe in hundreds of thousands of gods, they're dead. So as a Christian, we have a living Savior. That is the reason why he is the only way to the Father, is because he's the only one that was ever resurrected. So, I mean, I think that's just really clear with that. Can you, yes. anything to add with that? Or, I mean, that's just really, you know, pretty simple with it. It is. It is. Now, I want to talk about the prayer today. Um, I think if, if anyone who's listening who has heard what we have had to say today, what we've had to read from the scriptures today, um, if you're ready to grab hold of this mm -hmm. truth today, yep. please don't let another day go by. And let me tell you something. Don't ever think that you have to first clean up your act yeah, I'm so or change yourself, this. change your life, change your habits, change your ways and get yourself right before you do this. Forget all that. Forget God about already it, Tony. knows. Jesus already knows who you are. He knows the mess you're in. He knows your lifestyle. He knows your habits, your thoughts. He knows everything about you. And you know what? He loves you exactly where you are Amen. today. Amen. There is nothing that's a secret to him. And there's nothing that's a surprise to him. And he loves you. He wants you. He is calling you today. He is offering you the gift of salvation today. He is offering you his unconditional love today. Please take this opportunity today to receive this. You said so, that's so good. I think I'm ready to pray the uh, prayer of salvation again. <laughs> we're going to go through <laughs> we're going to go through a prayer. So and I guess let them know this is something that they repeat because it's this is something that has yeah. to come out of your mouth. Gina's yeah. going to read this to it's, you. I mean, it doesn't have to be a scripted yeah. thing, but this is just something that's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a helpful model. Let's put it that way, okay? It's the intention of your heart. Yes. God's not so much worried about what you're doing mm -hmm. and what you're saying yeah. as he is your motives and the intention of your yeah. heart. So, the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. This is Romans 10, 9. When you do confess and believe these truths, you will receive God's gift of eternal life. You will have a home in heaven with him after you die. And you will also receive the covenant blessings of his peace, his presence, his power, his protection, and his provision here on earth. If you have never asked Jesus to be the Lord of your life, let's pray this simple prayer right now. Dear Jesus, I need you. I confess that I have sinned. And I know that you are holy. Jesus, I believe you are God's son. 
and that he raised you from the dead. Thank you for dying on the cross for me and for providing the only way for me to have a relationship with God. Please forgive me for all of my sins and wash me clean with your blood. Come and live in my heart now and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Thank you for securing me and, and rescuing me and giving me the opportunity to live in heaven with you forever. Please be the Lord of my life. Yes. Teach me how to love you and to walk with you every day. I pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Now, if you have just prayed this prayer, you have just been born again, and you are saved by God's amazing grace. The angels of heaven are rejoicing right now. Yes. They are rejoicing over you right now. As you grow and mature in your faith, grow and mature in reading the Bible. The first step is getting into the Word of God and learning what it means. We heard a great testimony today from a man named William Wood. Loved him. First I mean, time if you want to look him up yeah. on the internet, Ooh. this guy's testimony was amazing. William Wood. He's from a Global Ministry, right? I believe so. Incredible testimony. But this guy had been an atheist and knew nothing about Christianity, nothing at all, and had an incredible drug experience addict. with the Lord. And the very first thing he did was to get a Bible yeah. and start reading. He knew nothing, and he started reading the Word. That is where you start, is reading the Word. It's so imperative. So if you said that prayer today... You have just been washed clean of yeah, every sin to the you family. ever committed. Every sin you ever committed, you are washed yep, clean. It's forgotten. You are remembers set it free. No more. You are loved. You are forgiven. You are made whole. Welcome to the family of God. This is a whole new beginning. You have a divine purpose. Get yourself in the word. It's so important. Talk to the Father. Yes. Talk to the Holy Spirit. And listen. Yep, listen. listen. Spend mm -hmm. time listening. And he'll speak to you in different ways. Yep. You'll, you'll learn how to hear his voice. And his voice will always line up with the word yes. of God. That's why you have mm -hmm. to know the word. Yes. So you know it's his voice you're hearing. Right. He says, my sheep know my voice and a yes. stranger's voice they will not follow. I hope that this helped someone today. I know it did. And we're excited. If you excited. if you are subscribed and you and you if, if you're on YouTube, if you if you said that prayer, we would love to hear somebody respond and just, you know, click I said the prayer. So then we could like we'll we'll write you a private message and yeah. give you more information how to but I mean those six steps, if you write down and do those the things that we were talking on you're going to have a strong walk with the lord and Absolutely. we're not promising that when you give your life to jesus that you never have a trial and tribulation because gene always says it in john 16 33 trials and tribulations will come but the thing is when you're a born again believer jesus is always with you through that and he promises to get you through every storm yeah he will never leave you or forsake you. That's right. Hebrews 13, verse 8. That's right. And a quick prayer. Let's hold hands because this is important. For everybody that did say that prayer, now we are just praying for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit because yes. this is important also. Yes. I pray that each person yes. watching is just filled with the Holy Ghost right now. Yes, Jesus. Thank you. The Holy Spirit is your comforter. He is your helper. And you and you can't do your Christian walk without him. Yes. So just right now at the mention of our voices, Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. fill each person up. Touch them. Fill them. Yes. 
I pray that you even fill them right now with the, with the baptism of the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of praying in tongues. Yes. And Jean, Jean and I haven't prayed in tongues on any teaching, but tongues is all through the Bible. It, it's in the book of Acts. And touch them, fill them. Yes, Lord. Oop. Tongues is something, it comes into your spirit and you have to open your mouth. Yes. Exactly like the prayer of salvation, you have to speak it out. Holy Spirit will not yes. do the talking for you. But as you're hearing this message and as we start praying, you just get, get yes. outside your head, let this fill your spirit, and begin speaking yes. out in start your prayer speaking language. speaking from, from your what what you would call your gut yes you're going to receive okay? Start, a supernatural let it bubble up yes. let it bubble up from your gut let it bubble up and just let it start flowing and let something flow out whatever starts flowing out yes. let it bubble up and just let it start flowing out and don't worry about what mm -hmm. it sounds like yep you're going to receive a supernatural prayer language mm -hmm. at this very moment as, as we pray shanda boro habasia kozoro habataya Roko do ro habashanda, shoto boro habataya, boro habasia, shaka baba, boro sahabasia kodoro habataya, shanda boro habasia, roko do ro habashanda, shoto boro sahabasia kodoro habareya, kino ro habasia. Yada Barosa Habasia Kodoro Habashanda. Just let it fill up, fill, fill each person, fill them, fill them, fill, fill. Just receive and speak. Holy Spirit, fill them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for touching each listener. Thank you, Lord. We bless everybody. Welcome to the family. Wow. This is going to be, yeah. 2021 is going to be your Ooh. best year ever. There's been so much negativity, we cancel it. 2021 is going to be filled with signs and wonders, miracles, healings. Come on. People are just going to receive the, the gift of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. They're going to be walking in the, in the fruit of the Spirit. Just love, joy, and patience, and gentleness, self-control. They're going to receive gifts. They're going to receive the gifts from the Spirit. They're going to they're going to receive words of knowledge, words of wisdom, gifts of miracles. You're going to receive the gift of faith. That's such an important yes. gift to receive. The gift mm -hmm. of faith is just even when you're looking at something and it looks like everything's going wrong in the natural that your gift of faith rises up and you speak to a situation mm -hmm. and you change an entire situation. Yes. You're everyone watching, you're gonna be you're gonna change people's lives. Yes. You're gonna change family members' lives. You're gonna change nations. You're gonna change your friends' mm -hmm. lives for the better. God yes. is good. He has good gifts for his children. Yes. Boldness is going to rise up in each and every one of you. Jean and I used to be so shy. She failed because she couldn't even read a book report in school. Now I've seen her stand in front of the church and give a sermon. I was always afraid to speak in front of people. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm getting over myself. It's not about me. It's about Jesus. Yeah. I want to always glorify him. And you live your life that way. Glor live your life. That others want to know Jesus. Woo! Good work. Yes. Live your life yes. that others want to know him. Demonstrate him. Talk like yes. him. Act like him. Respond like him. Yes. Show mercy like him. Don't judge. Don't tear people down. Don't beat the church up. Lift the church up. Be the one that when people see you, they know you have Jesus. You have Holy Spirit living inside of you. And they're going to want to have what you have. I promise you. Amen. We love you guys. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and do a pop a dog and say, we believe this was the best teaching ever. You're on fire. And 
if you think it wasn't the best teaching, like we said, this is a matter of eternity. It's a very serious teaching. Amen. If it wasn't the best one, yes. it's probably the most serious teaching that one could hear. Amen. We love you. We're going to see you next Tuesday. Yes. And I, we're going to even bring more fire. <laughs>